Hi, doing it was me, the Dolman Saku here today to talk about the new episode of Fuka, One Week Delay, which I didn't mind personally, but you know, it was great to be back. Because for one, we got a new song, and a lot of shit happened in this episode that I was kind of surprised about, but they almost like did something. Well, for one, remember, I forgot what happens at the beginning of the series. I just know the major important parts, not like every single detail. So, the scene where Fuka is like on the street walking to the venue, that shit scared the hell out of me. I was like, wait a minute, what is this? I don't remember this. And I'm just like, okay, okay, now I remember this. So I was like, woo! So like scaring me, man. This the series, man, because I've I've been so. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I've been I've I've forgotten so much about the beginning parts because it's like hundred chapters in. But great, you're freaking rallying me up for a week just to see that almost happen. But anyways, yeah. So this episode for one features just a lot of. Well, I don't know. This is like I thought that the school drama romancing with uh, Koyuki and the school the school festival arc thing was pretty cool because it was sort of like a lot of shit going on, right? But it's also happening here because you have Fuka who is finally realized her feelings that she likes you and um, you know, she can't write the song because of her feelings and her jealousy for you and Tama-chan, right? And then essentially it gets it hinders in their band, right? And essentially they can't write their original song but they do actually, she writes them eventually, she puts all her feelings into words and her emotions and shit and it comes out into one of a great song that I actually forgot about in the series and I actually talk about it in the current manga or like, you know, where the manga, like technically this is the first song so it's the most memorable slash you know, it's their, it's their first one so it's highly mentioned in the series or in the manga also but For You was freaking amazing, like my goodness, it was just so great and then like the way they made it right when they show like Fuga sing it really is like a spur of her emotions and the lyrics itself like the lyrics are freaking amazing just like my god I can't believe for one they played every single song in the series which is freaking amazing it's just a good line you got climbers high which is cool you got the uh, town where the stars fall and then you have this one for you just like so much great music that I want to listen to Cannot wait for this song to come out, or eventually, you know, I'll get that song on CD. So, yeah, that's it. And then now the cliffhanger of this episode is the fact that um, Fuka decided to quit the band because, let's be honest here, guys, we already know why she wants to quit the band. It's not because she doesn't want to be with the band, it's just that she can't be with a certain somebody, right? And that's basically the dilemma here. So yeah, supposedly they're gonna be dropping off the band, but two episodes left. Hopefully there's no more week breaks and I can enjoy my, well, I don't know exactly. So for one, I don't know how I feel about this. So I've been assuming that Kayuki and um, you have been going out of their boyfriend, girlfriend, couple thing because ever since episode eight and all that shit happened, right? It doesn't appear to me that that's the case. I don't know. There just doesn't seem to be, you know, going on that stuff sort of thing. Because, you know, they joke about it all the time. It's like, oh, you was late to the rehearsals and whatnot, right? And it's like, oh, you've been spending time with your girlfriend? Oh, yeah, you, you know, just like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. So, it, it, I don't know about that fact yet. And I, I don't exactly remember everything, once again, in the manga. I know later on, eventually, like, something happens. But, um, I don't know, I've had this feeling, for one, that there have been anime-only stuff in here that I don't remember. I haven't gone back to read the manga at all, I haven't, because, and I just, like, feel that there were just some scenes or, you know, some parts in this anime that I was like, wait a minute, did, did this actually happen? I don't, I don't remember this. And, of course, this has to be with, um, Koyuki and you, mostly. Mostly, that's with them. So, yeah, it made me curious, it's like, if... So, essentially, here's my thinking, right? Because I haven't talked about this episode in a long time. Essentially, they have the probability that they can technically do an anime-only ending, which I don't mind. But in doing so, you cannot make a season 2 with all the current stuff that's going on right now, or continue the series without like changing a few things to fit the story that happens in the manga, right? So, unless they go the actual manga route, then you have potentials for season 2s, 3s, fours and however long Fuka goes running on that's that's my dilemma here but assumingly I think they're gonna go the manga route and if they have enough sales and hopefully that's the case then we get a season two because freaking 
they cannot have like Fuka ongoing like right now I read the latest chapter it's freaking amazing it really is there's so much stuff that happens after you know in the future and I don't know exactly how they end the series here because they did their gig so then I guess now these next two episodes are focusing on Fuka and you know her emotions for you and then you know her dilemma about leaving the band because they ain't gonna be writing a new song in this in two episodes they probably aren't and they also have the hedgehogs return and their cameo in this episode which is pretty cool we finally see them so fuka that's the episode so anyways guys that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed like the video if you enjoyed and comment what you guys think about this episode what are your thoughts what do you think fuka or kayuki and what do you guys think about the new song because for you is freaking amazing i love that so much two word title and a lot of emotion and lyrics and everything it's freaking beautiful just great to listen to so anyways i'll see you guys next week because we'll finally get to the second to last episode and i'm, I'm kind of curious how they will end the episode because i don't exactly remember how they well actually i, I think i got an idea mm, i'll leave that for next week but anyways i think i have an idea how they'll end this series or this season so we'll see about that do you guys want to know about season two have you guys read the manga at all after watching the series because uh, I mean, I'm on. I'm on a date. I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be rereading the beginning of the manga. We'll see how about that. So, anyway, guys, see you guys next week for episode 11. Take care, guys, and matane.